First, open your desired frame file. For this example, we are using the snowflake background. You will notice here in the layers palette that the frame is a background layer, which means it's locked. To unlock it, double click over the layer and click OK in the resulting dialog box. You can name it here too if you like. Using the magic wand tool set at about a tolerance of 30, click over the white area of the frame and press Ctrl plus X to cut that area out. Now open your subject file and with the move tool selected, click and hold over your image and drag it over to the frame. Go back over to the layers palette to click and hold onto your new subject layer and drag it underneath the frame layer. Most likely you will have the same issue I have here. Your subject file will be smaller than the frame. To fix that, press Ctrl plus the letter T to create the edit points for transformation. Place your cursor over one of the corner edit points until you see a diagonal double arrow. To maintain the proportions of your image, press the Shift key while clicking and holding over the edit point and dragging your subject to the size of the frame then click and hold on the check mark to finalize it or the warning circle to start over. For professional images or images that will be printed on photo quality paper it is best to bring the larger of the two images down to the smaller which we will do here by clicking on the frame layer and pressing control plus T just as we did with the subject layer. Except this time we will bring down the size of the frame to match the size of the subject image. It is not as important to press the shift key when doing this as the proportions of the frame are not as critical. There you have it and you would want to save this as a PSD for future use or archiving it or save it as a JPEG for sending to the printers.